Welcome to Grade 4 Mathematics, Quarter 3, Week 1. Okay, so for our first activity, type in your chat box the letter of the correct answer. Every number, meron kayong 20 seconds para pag-isipan. Okay, then, i-type nyo sa chat box ang inaakala ninyong tamang sagot. Okay? Here's number one. Which lines never meet at any point? A. Intersecting lines. B. Parallel lines. C. Perpendicular lines. Or D. Cross lines. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Next number. Which of the following illustrations show perpendicular lines? Okay, so you have 20 seconds. Go. Time's up. And the correct answer is C. Number three. Which of the following is an example of interest? Number three. Which of the following is an example of intersecting lines? You have 20 seconds and it starts now. up the correct answer is C number four refer to the illustration on the right which pair of lines is parallel a line AB and line DF B line AB and line CE C line CD and line DF D line CE and line CD your 20 seconds starts now Time's up. The answer is letter A. Number five. Refer to the illustration in problem number four. How many intersecting lines are there? A, one. B, two. C, three. D, four. Go. Time's up. The answer is D.
Our lesson for today is describing parallel, intersecting, and perpendicular lines. Look at the picture of the Manila Light Rail Transit or LRT. Have you written in one before? Okay, so nakikita nyo ang larawan ng LRT. Why do you think can two trains operate at the same time without colliding with each other and causing an accident? It is because their train tracks maintain the same distance between them and do not meet at any point. If we represent these train tracks using lines, it will look like the figure below. This pair of lines is called parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that never meet or intersect. Kung titignan nyo itong dalawang, so ito, itong gawit na ito, at itong gawit na ito. Okay. All throughout, pare-pareho ang kanyang distance. Okay, since pare-pareho ang kanyang distance, hindi sila magko-cross each other. Okay? On the contrary, lines that meet at one point are called intersecting lines. Okay, paano naman malalaman pag intersecting lines? Okay, tingnan nyo itong tatlong example. Mapansin nyo, magka-X-X sila, Okay? Let's say we have line A and B. Line A, B. And then line C, D. Mapapansin nyo, meron siyang point of intersection. Yun yun. Inasa gitna. Ito. Ang tawag dyan ay point intersection. Karaniwan yan, tinatawag na O. So, yung point O, yun ang point of intersection. The line shown below is an example of intersecting lines. See how the pair intersects at point O? We call this the point of intersection. Line segments can also intersect and have a point of intersection. Okay, so yaan ang intersecting lines. A special kind of intersecting lines are perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and form a square corner at their point of intersection. So, gawa kayo ng dalawang line. Kikita nyo, dito siya nag-intersect. Dito sa point na to. Yan sila nag-cross. At nag-form siya ng square corner. So, ang tawag dyan ay perpendicular lines. Next lesson natin, drawing parallel and perpendicular lines. Paano ba mag-drawing ng mga line na ito? Yung parallel at yung perpendicular lines. So, ganito ang gagawin ninyo. Kailangan, meron kayong dalawang gamit. So, kailangan, meron kayong ruler. Meron din kayong set square or sa pangtawag sa set square ay triangle. Okay, so, siyempre, kailangan meron kayong ball pen or pencil. Okay? So, drawing parallel lines. So, una yung gawin, sa isang papel, gumuhit kayo ng isang guhit gamit ang ruler. Okay, ganyan. Tapos, ipwesto ninyo ang ruler at ang set square ng ganito. Okay, so susunod, kailangan hawak-hawak nyo o diinan ninyo yung ruler. Okay, para maigalaw-galaw ninyo ang set square. Ayan. Okay, so tingnan nyo. Dito sa taas na bahagi na ito, gumawa kayo ng isa pang guhit. Okay, so kapag tinanggal ninyo ang ruler at ang triangle, you have now drawn parallel lines. Okay, so drawing perpendicular lines. So, ganun din ang kailangan ninyo. Ruler, set square. At saka ball pen or pencil. Okay, unang gagawin, gumuhit muna kayo ng isang guhit, gamitin ng ruler. Okay, so yan yun. Then, ipwestun nyo ang ruler at ang set square 
na ganito. Okay. Pagmasan niyo, diinan niyo yung ruler. Ito, itong ruler. Kapag diniinan niyo yan, may gagalaw-galaw niyo na pabalik-balik ang triangle. Okay? So, pwesto niyo ganyan. Dito sa bahaging ito, okay, hawakan niyo pareho yung triangle at yung ruler. Sa bahaging ito, gamitin ang lapis sa ball pen para gumawa ng guhit. So, yan yun. Kapag nagawa niyo yan, tanggalin ang ruler at ang set square. So, Kitingnan nyo, nakabuo na kayo ng perpendicular line na mayroong square corner. You now have drawn perpendicular lines. Drawing intersecting lines. Okay, so kailangan nyo either yung ruler or yung set square. Isa lang dyan, sa dalang dyan, pwede na. And then, syempre, kailangan nyo ng ball pen or pencil. So, pwesto nyo yung ruler ng ganyan. Okay? Then, gumawa kayo ng isang guhit. Pagkatapos, ipwesto nyo ang ruler ng ganito. Then, gumawa uli kayo ng isa pang guhit. Tapos ay tanggalin nyo ang ruler. You now have drawn intersecting lines.